Yes, I'm not like fangirl. I'm a little bit of fangirl. She's amazing. <laughs> Welcome back or to my YouTube channel. Um, if you haven't been here before, I am a dreaming, dreaming to be full-time artist and I do my best to post weekly. If you like art, art shit, give me a follow. Subscribe on YouTube, subscribe. Um, on that note, uh, we are under 200 away from 1K and I did promise that I would do a physical giveaway if we reach 1K subscribers. Um, I'm thinking hat or something more interesting. Anyway, subscribe to figure that out. As you might be able to see from today's title, today we are going to be talking about the infamous same art style. I'm sitting here eating crackers, editing this, and I just realized that the first time I said same art, I just did it again. And I realized that I said same art style the first time I freaking said the title. I said it wrong. It's same face style. Back to the video. I would like to start this video by saying I will be using the word style as I feel like it is more appropriate for what we're talking about today. So before we get into today's video, of course, we are going to talk about the comment of the week. This week, the comment goes out to Trish, Trish, my braces mess me up all the time, Trish Z or Z, depending on where you're from. I prefer Z because it rhymes with the alphabet. And if you say Z, you're wrong. I'm Canadian, but you can shun me, it's fine. So Trish said, once again, I'm reading from my computer. I can't memorize this, you guys. She said, I love all your artwork, but since I'm obsessed with mermaids, she is one of my faves so far. I completely agree now that you, now what you have said as a baby artist, I felt the same way, like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna find a cool style, etc." But recently I am just YOLOing and experimenting. Um, I love this comment because one, it's really sweet, but YOLOing honestly is a great term for how you find your art style. Um, if you wanna know, how I think you find your art style, check out my last video. So for today's video, we are going to be going over um, that topic, but also the process of my Billie Eilish. It was supposed to be a study. It turned into a bit more in depth, but my Billie Eilish painting from her new album called Happier Than Ever. And if you haven't read her interview about what a lot of the music means, I think you should definitely check it out because despite how young she is, I shouldn't say despite, young people can have profound thoughts too. She, I just find her a phenomenal human being. Like hearing her speak or even just reading her words, it just feels, feels more real, I guess you could say. Anyways, I'm not like fangirl. I'm a little bit of fangirl. She's amazing. If you happen to be watching this, I can't remember your name, but I did in fact have a wonderful person in my live chat on TikTok while I was drawing this who was educating me on Billy and it was wonderful. So if you happen to see this, drop your name in the comment below because I can't remember what your username was. So like I said, today we'll be going over the topic, same face style. And I would like to preface, is that is that the word? I would like to begin by explaining that this is my opinion and it could be super, super wrong, but it's my opinion and um, I think it's a positive one. So, um, so today I thought I would try putting this video down in the bottom corner while we watch the process video, um, just to be a bit more personal. And uh, if you hate it, let me know. If you like it, let me know. Um, I might not do it all the time, but today I did my, you know, I straightened my hair, I guess, and I did my makeup and I'm shiny, so. So today, as I said, we're going to be talking about same face style and my personal opinions on it. Um, again, I could be super wrong. So my base opinion, this is a shorter video, so it's gonna be a shorter topic, but my base opinion on this is that there are positives and negatives to having same face style and I don't think there's anything wrong with having it, um, except for, for a few things. So I'm gonna kinda, it's more of a discussion than um, than a straight up like this is facts. So I said this is facts and I pushed up my glasses, I love it. So here are some points about same face style. So firstly, one issue I do have with same face style is that I think that including being inclusive about um, facial appearances and stuff like that is really beneficial as an artist. Um, and it's really great to have inclusive art and you're able to represent other other people. 
Um, so that's, that's one, that's probably my only issue with same face style. So I think there's two sides of it. So you could have same face style. Um, there's many artists with same face style and they are incredibly popular. They're some of the most famous online artists out there and they very much have same face style, but it's because of that style that they were able to grow and build a community because of their love of this style. That's not to say that it always, always draw that way, but it's, it's often enough that you could point out that artist just by seeing the face. And personally, I think that's awesome. What a great way to grow. Not only do you get to stay within your comfort zone, but you get to create all these beautiful pieces. So in that sense, in my mind, same face style is wonderful. It can really work for some artists and people can reach out to them because they like their style, which is great. Um, but on the other hand, if you are always drawing the same style of face, um, you know, you don't try different things, um, you might not get some other jobs. Uh, I do know that recently I was reached out um, about a job that I haven't announced publicly yet. Um, it's not a big deal. It's kind of cool. Um, I'm just doing some marketing art for a local U of M professor who is teaching D&D for his religion and um, imagination class, which is super exciting. And he reached out to me specifically because he enjoyed the fact that I do my best. Um, I don't always succeed, but I do my best to try and include all types of people within my art. It's something I used to do a lot better before and I feel like I've kind of gone into like a little area that I would like to push out of. But on that note, I wouldn't have got that job if he didn't notice that because something that was important about it was having a person of color, having um, non-sexual, over-sexualized characters. I would like to say that um, I am totally down for the, 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 the really, really, um, I shouldn't say over-sexualized, there's, there's a line, but um, please note that that doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with it because there's some artists that I just top tier. My point is that both sides of same face style can get you jobs, um, but there is still ways to be inclusive. So I know that there's a lot of artists and I've seen them being like, oh, you know, I just draw the same face all the time. And the best way to get out of that, if that's not what you want, is to practice and draw um, different types of faces, draw different types of noses. I feel like that's always my first start. Different eye shapes, um, different face shapes, practice um, tones and stuff like that. What I'm trying to say is I feel like there's a stigma around same face style that feels almost too much because there is possibility with that. Um, I know that there's artists that I love that all of their my camera just stuck rolling. All of their art has the same features, but pose differently, different colors, that kind of stuff. Um, and their art is beautiful and it's illustrative and it has a place in the art world. Um, so what I'm trying to say is that there's mean people on the internet that might complain about your same face style. Um, try and be inclusive, but don't worry if you are often drawing similarly. My last video was about, you know, finding your style. Your style to me is what you enjoy drawing and that's usually what same face style is. That's why it becomes a thing because people enjoy drawing that way. So um, basically this is just a positive video. Um, do your best to practice and try and be inclusive. You know, it's a big world out there and so many people look different and it's a beautiful, beautiful world. Um, so don't be negative, be kind to each other and um, find your place in the art world, which I'm still finding mine. So it's kind of weird that I'm telling you guys that. Anyways, um, that's it for today's video. I hope this wasn't too boring and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.